Hi everyone, this is Vineet Pandey and here I'm going to discuss something very important. Have you ever wondered when you prepare for net JRF courses or gate classes or any other competitive exam dealing with English literature, have you ever wondered this thing that what are the most important books you must read, you must go through, what are those things which are always be uh, being the part of the exam which always appear in the exam and yes, to qualify any exam without reading those books is impossible. I have made a special list of 50 must read books. Yes friends, 50 must read books which are going to help you in any competitive exam dealing with English literature. May it be MA entrance, University of Delhi, JNU or any top university, may it be MPhil entrances, PhD entrances or any top UPSC, PSC service examinations. Along with this thing, the students who are preparing for DSSV, PZT, KV and other competitive exams, they can also watch this video because this video will deal with special 50 books which are very very important and should be in the brain of every student. Now, before I talk about all the 50 books, I also want to tell you that there are a lot of books which are very very important for the exam but when I was making the list of 50 books, I thought it's better to divide it in two chapters. So the first one I'm going to deal with from 650 to 1750 so time duration is 650 to 1750 this time duration i have picked for top 50 books after this video we will go for another video where i will be talking about the next important books from 1750 to the present date now before i go for all this thing i also want you to tell that along with the books and the writers that i'm going to talk about i'm going to give you some basic details so make sure you have a pen and paper let's start Book number one, दोस्तों हम बात कर रहे हैं बेवल्फ की जो कि classical epic है, Anglo Saxon epic जो उस समय की morality से deal करता है, उस समय की जो ideal heroism है, उससे deal करता है। हमारे पास writer के बारे में कोई surety नहीं है, हमें नहीं पता बेवल्फ किसने लिखा है। इसके अलावा यहाँ publication की भी कोई guarantee नहीं है, but जो पढ़ा जाता है, जो माना जाता है, वो ये है कि 975 से बाद में और 1025 से पहले की पब्लिकेशन है इससे पहले एक चीज आप और याद करिएगा कि बेवल्फ के अंदर जो विलेन है ग्रेंडल वो एक इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टर है सो ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एमए एमफिल पीएचडी एंट्रेंस किसी भी चीज के लिए आप विदाउट रीडिंग बेवल्फ आप आगे नहीं बढ़ सकते इसलिए हमारे लिस्ट में नंबर 1 पे है और आपको सबसे पहले पढ़ना है नंबर 2 Canterbury Tales, दोस्तों, the first ever book written in English by Geoffrey Chaucer. Geoffrey Chaucer was born in 1343, died in 1400, also known as father of English language. आप इसे बहुत सारे लोगों ने देखा होगा कि Chaucer के बिना कोई भी exam हो ही नहीं सकता. ऐसा कोई exam नहीं होता जहां Chaucer से question ना हो, Chaucer के writing style से question ना हो, Chaucer के जो ideas थे, उससे question ना हो. चौसर ने कैंटरबरी टेल्स के अंदर वैरायटी के अंदर कैरेक्टर्स को डेवलप किया है इतनी वैरायटीज हैं कि ड्राइडन ने खुद कहा हियर इज गॉड्स प्लेंटी कैंटरबरी टेल्स एक ट्रैवलॉग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से लिखा गया है एक जर्नी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लिखा गया है और मस्ट रीड है तो दोस्तों रिपीट करता हूं कैंटरबरी टेल्स जो 1388 का पब्लिकेशन है ये आपके लिए मस्ट रीड है नंबर 3 यूटोपिया Utopia was published in 1516, written by Thomas More. आपको एक चीज अच्छे से याद रखनी है कि Utopia को prologue to the modern socialism कहते हैं, जो आधुनिक समाज है, आधुनिक democracy है, उसका एक base Utopia को माना जाता है। दोस्तों Utopia का कुछ मतलब नहीं होता direct language में, लेकिन अगर हम Latin भाषा में देखें, तो Utopia का मतलब होता है एक ऐसा जगह, एक ऐसा स्थान जो है ही नहीं। a kingdom of nowhere. आप अपने स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं कि जो यूटोपियन आइलैंड या यूटोपियन कॉन्सेप्ट है, वो इस तरीके से डेवलप किया जाता है। और यूटोपिया का जो राइटर है, थॉमस मोर। थॉमस मोर वाज बोर्न 1478 एंड डाइड 1535। थॉमस मोर को पनिशमेंट दिया गया था, उसको एक तरीके से उसकी हत्या की गई थी। यूटोपिया Mortary Arthur written by Thomas Mallory. It was written in 1485. ये एक Arthurian cycle से deal करती है। जितने भी students इस video को देख रहे हैं, आपको पता होगा कि King Arthur जो Anglo Saxons का king था, या Anglo Saxons के समय उसकी बहुत सारी कहानियाँ बनाई जाती थी। Arthur वो ideal character है जिसमें 24 quality हैं, 24 virtues of ideal gentleman। और King Arthur के under में 12 ऐसे knights हैं, 12 ऐसे commanders हैं, जो 12 अलग-अलग virtues को represent करते हैं, so there are 12 virtues represented by 
12 नाइट्स अंडर द कमांड ऑफ किंग आर्थर और जी हां दोस्तों हम इनको क्या कहते हैं राउंड टेबल कहते हैं थॉमस मेलरी ने आर्थर की जितनी भी कहानियां थी लेजेंडरी स्टोरीज थी फॉक टेल्स थी या जितने भी ऐसे स्टोरीज थे जो फैब्लियो पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बनाए हुए थे उन सब को उठा के कंपाइल किया और एक प्रॉपर स्टोरी बताई जैसा कि आप स्क्रीन पर देख सकते हैं थॉमस मेलरी का जो बर्थ टाइमिंग है वो 1415 एंड डेथ 1471 है बुक नंबर 5 शेफर्ड्स कैलेंडर 1579 वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बुक रिटन बाय एडमंड स्पेंसर जी हां दोस्तों एडमंड स्पेंसर द फर्स्ट पोएट ऑफ एलिजाबेथंस बोर्न 1552 डाइड 1599 मैं आपको सारी डेट्स भी साथ-साथ बता रहा हूं ताकि आपके एक प्रॉपर प्रिपरेशन हो और मैं आपसे रिक्वेस्ट भी करूंगा कि पेन एंड पेपर लेके बैठिएगा इनको नोट करते जाइएगा शेफर्ड्स कैलेंडर ये 12 मंथ्स के अंदर 12 सॉन्ग्स के थ्रू रिप्रेजेंट किया जाता है इसको 12 अलग-अलग बुक किताबों में लिखा गया है 12 बुक्स 12 महीने और 12 सॉन्ग्स अगर आपको सलमान खान का एक गाना याद है 12 महीने में 12 तरीके से तुझको प्यार जताऊंगा मैं तो आप उस रेफरेंस से इसको याद कर सकते हैं कि शेफर्ड्स कैलेंडर भी 12 बुक्स में है 12 मंथ्स हैं और 12 सिंगर्स हैं जो 12 तरीके की बात करते हैं ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट बुक है और रिमेंबर दिस थिंग कि ये फर्स्ट प्रोलॉग माना जाता है तो ये आपको अच्छे से पढ़ना है बुक नंबर 6 डिफरेंस ऑफ पोएजी आल्सो नोन एज अपोलॉजी फॉर पोएट्री दोस्तों फिलिप सिडनी ने 1595 में अपने समय के कंटेम्प्रेरी क्रिटिक स्टीफन गोसोन को रिप्लाई किया था स्टीफन गोसोन ने स्कूल ऑफ एब्यूज लिख के पोएट्री पे बहुत सारे सवाल उठाए थे पोएट्री पे बहुत सारे आरोप लगाए थे जी हां दोस्तों हम जानते हैं कि स्टीफन गोसोन के जो चार्जेस थे पोएट्री के ऊपर वो प्लेटो से इंस्पायर्ड थे इसलिए जब सिडनी ने गोसोन को रिप्लाई किया तो वो प्लेटो को एक रिप्लाई था आपको यहां पे याद रखना है कि फिलिप सिडनी एक बहुत महान राइटर है एक बहुत बहुत ही बहुत अच्छा कोटियर था बहुत अच्छा अपने समय का एक इंसान था क्योंकि उसे कहते हैं कि ही वाज द एपिटम ऑफ मैनकाइंड उसे मानवता की मिसाल कहा जाता है और यस नेट में क्वेश्चन भी आ चुका है कि किस राइटर को रेनेसा मैन कहा जाता है पुनर्जागरण काल का जो एक आधुनिक इंसान था जो रिप्रेजेंटेटिव था तो फिलिप सिडनी को रेनेसा मैन भी कहा जाता है आप आपका डेट चेक कर सकते हैं आपकी स्क्रीन पे जो डेट लिखा हुआ है फिलिप सिडनी का जो बर्थ है वो 1554 है डेथ है वो 1586 है बुक नंबर 7 बुक नंबर 7 जो है वो सॉन्ग्स एंड सोनेट्स है सॉन्ग्स एंड सोनेट 1633 में पब्लिश हुआ था रिमेंबर दिस थिंग कि सॉन्ग्स एंड सोनेट इज रिटन बाय जॉन डन जॉन डन जो खुद 1572 बोर्न है 1631 पे उनका डेथ है ही वाज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट राइटर हु रोट सॉन्ग्स एंड सोनेट्स सॉन्ग्स एंड सोनेट्स दो साल के बाद पब्लिश हुआ था 1633 में जॉन डन की डेथ के दो साल के बाद यानी कि पोस्टमस पब्लिकेशन है सॉन्ग्स एंड सोनेट्स में जॉन डन की बहुत सारी अच्छी पोएट्रीज का कलेक्शन है इसलिए आपको हम स्ट्रांगली रेकमेंड करते हैं कि आप ये जरूर पढ़िएगा बुक नंबर 8 डॉक्टर फॉस्टर्स 1592 रिमेंबर आपने बहुत अच्छे से पढ़ा होगा अगर आपने मेरी क्लासेस ली है तो आपको पढ़ा पता होगा वाज दिस द फेस दैट लॉन्च थाउजेंड्स ऑफ शिप्स एंड बर्न द टॉप स्टार्स ऑफ एलियम स्वीट थालन मेक मी मॉडल विद द केस जी हां दोस्तों एक रेनेसा मैन की स्टोरी अ पर्सन हु कॉम्प्रोमाइज हिज लाइफ हिज फ्यूचर हिज एवरीथिंग फॉर द सेक ऑफ नॉलेज डॉक्टर फॉस्टर्स एक ऐसे आदमी की कहानी है जिसने अपनी पूरी जिंदगी को दांव पे लगा दिया सिर्फ और सिर्फ ज्ञान प्राप्त करने के लिए ज्यादा से ज्यादा चीजों को जानने के लिए समझने के लिए जी हां द स्टोरी हैज बीन रिटन बाय वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट राइटर क्रिस्टोफर मार्लो 1564 1593 का बर्थ है आप याद रखिएगा कि क्रिस्टोफर मार्लो को फर्स्ट स्पाई भी कहा जाता है और बहुत सारी स्टोरीज ऐसी भी हैं कि क्रिस्टोफर मार्लो एक्चुअली विलियम शेक्सपियर ही थे तो अगर आप इससे रिलेटेड चीजें जानना चाहते हैं तो और वीडियोस भी मेरे अवेलेबल हैं आप उनको देख सकते हैं जहां पे मैंने मार्लो और शेक्सपियर के बारे में बात की है बुक नंबर नाइन जी ऑफ माल्टा वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बुक एंड अ रिवेंज ट्रेजिडी जी ऑफ माल्टा नॉट ओनली डील्स विद द स्टोरी ऑफ अ जीव हु टेक्स रिवेंज इट ऑल्सो स्पीक्स अप अबाउट द मेकिया वेलियन कैरेक्टर जी हाँ दोस्तों मेकिया वेलियन कैरेक्टर कौन होता है कैसे होता है किस तरीके से वो अपने उद्देश्य को पूरा करने के लिए चीजों के साथ छेड़छाड़ करता है किस हद तक वो जा सकता है इसका बेस्ट एग्जांपल है जी ऑफ माल्टा स्टोरी ऑफ अ कैरेक्टर जिसने बदला लेने के लिए अपनी बेटी अपने सर्वेंट यहां तक कि अपने समाज अपने साम्राज्य सबको धोखा देने की कोशिश की जियो माल्टा का जो पब्लिकेशन है वो है 1590 और रिटर्न बाय 1564 एंड 1593 की जो बर्थ बताई थी आपको मैंने क्रिस्टोफर मार्डो की सेम राइटर ने ही लिखा है बुक नंबर 10 हैमलेट बुक नंबर 11 मैकबेथ बुक नंबर 12 ओथेलो 
book number 13 king lear book number 14 as you like it book number 15 merchant of venice book number 16 tempest book number 17 venus and adonis book number 18 rape of lucrezia yes friends we are going to talk about william shakespeare born 1564 at 1616 how is it possible i make a list of 50 books and i ignore shakespeare and it's really hard to choose one book or two book from william shakespeare because it's shakespeare even it was really hard for me to select five to seven books because all i felt what i felt was that every book is important so let's go for it so i have told you all these names number wise one by one and remember this thing that hamlet King Lear, Macbeth, Othello. Four great tragedies are very very important. You have to read something you can ask anything in which act, in which scene. Hamlet goes for a grave digger scene. In which act and which scene. Macbeth finds a hanging dagger. In which book, in which scene. Othello finds a handkerchief. And in which book, King Lear finds the fool scene. Where we have the song of Tom O'Bedlam. So technically, ये चारों tragedies जरूर पढ़नी हैं, बहुत important है। इनका कोई different different publication नहीं है, collectively published है in 1623। But जब हम performance की बात करते हैं, तो अमिशा याद रखेगा H O K M। Hamlet was performed in 1602, Othello 1603, then 1604 का gap है, उसके बाद King Lear है 1605 में and Macbeth 1606 में, 1606 में। so remember this thing, this is very very important. Then we talk about the comedies written by him. As you like it, with all the songs which are very very important. Then Tempest with post-colonial references. And the other comedies which are very important like Merchant of Venice. They all have their own significance. So make sure you read it. Now, the most of the students, what they do as a mistake is, they read Shakespeare's drama and avoid his sonnets and poetry completely. Remember this thing that Venus and Adonis, published in 1593, is very very important and his serious poetry, Rape of Lucrezia, in 1594, is equally very important. You can see on your screen these books, their covers, and I suggest you to read them seriously because they are very very important. Now we go for book number 19, Walpole, written by Ben Johnson in 1605. Ben Johnson, a great writer who was in the tradition of classics, was contemporary of Shakespeare, was born in 1572 and died in 1637. Ben Johnson was not only an actor, a theatre artist, but also a man of virtue. Along with this thing, remember, the book number 20 is Alchemist, written by same writer. So book number 19 and book number 20 are very very important. Read it because these books deal with the people who are very much greedy, who do immoralities to make money and Ben Johnson technically attacks the people who are greedy by nature. So book number 19, Volpone and book number 20, Alchemists are very very important. Book number 21, a lot of people don't read this thing so I am focusing here, Maid's Tragedy. Maid's Tragedy? 1619 publication it's very important written by francis beaumont and john fletcher beaumont and fletcher they had a kind of uh, collaboration and there are so many books written by them make sure you read maid's tragedy it's very very important book number 22 our women killed with kindness written in 1607 by thomas hayward thomas hayward was a famous writer born in 1570 and died in 1641 who made this phrase famous that a woman got killed with kindness. In the story, a woman is neglected, rejected by her lover who finds out that the lady has deceived him. And finally, the lady stops eating, she starves herself, she punishes herself by starving and finally dies. This is the story, it's a very important story which helps you to get an eye on the Elizabethan female life. So remember this thing, it's very important and in our list. Next book we have is book number 23. The Blind Beggar of Alexandria is very important work which was written in 1596. Written by a famous writer George Chapman. In 1559 he was born and 1634 he died. Though the book is not very important but why it is in our list is because it speaks about this society and moreover it has a lot of references to the contemporary society. It's very important for us and yes from competitive point of view we cannot ignore this book. 
book number 24 the duchess of malfi written by john webster the duchess of malfi was performed in 1613 it's very very important because it's a revenge tragedy and moreover it deals with italian references italian renaissance has been portrayed this the, through this book and it has an amazing character borsola for this character the book becomes one of the most important book and make sure you read it john webster was born in 1580 and died in 1632 book number 25 new atlantis written by francis bacon it's very very important 1626 1627 is the publication and the birth of francis bacon is 1561 1626 francis bacon was a man who was praised by alexander pope when he said he was the wisest brightest and meanest of mankind so wisest brightest and meanest of mankind he was good he was smart he was bad so this is a statement for francis bacon by alexander pope and we all know about francis bacon that how he was taking bribes how he was punished and what did he do after getting uh, in the prison all the students who have gone through my lectures they know that he wrote a letter and got released next day book number 26 pilgrim by Samuel Purchas also known as pilgrimage Purchas pilgrimage it's very important because it has given a lot of references to the countries around Samuel Purchas talks about various countries around the world talking about Africa Europe India and other countries and moreover Samuel Purchas pilgrimage became a reference book for a lot of writers to take references if you remember Samuel Taylor Coleridge for his famous work Kubla Khan took references from Purchas pilgrimage Purchas pilgrimage was published in 1614 and Samuel Purchas was born 1576 died 1626 book number 27 paradise lost 1667 publication written by John Milton the greatest writer ever on earth born 1608 died 1674 John Milton was a puritan and the man who lived through his virtues a man who was totally religious and wanted to be a clergy initially there is a lot of things that i can tell you about john milton but as we have the times limit we will have to move to the next book but remember do not go to the exam if you are not prepared with paradise lost book number 28 paradise regained paradise regained is written by john milton same writer written in 1671 deals with jesus christ as a hero and has four books in parts it's written in four different books it's very important though it was not a famous book it didn't become famous because it's totally puritanical in its attitude it deals with completely religious bent of mindset and this is the reason that paradise regain is not a favorite book of readers but from exam point of view everyone should know it that's very important book number 29 areopagitica written in 1644 by same writer john milton one of the greatest book that deals with the freedom of press Milton has taken references from Bible, from classical writers, from Greek writings and talks about that the writers who are expressing truth should not be controlled, should not be forced to hide the truth. Technically he talks about the media of that time he says that they should be allowed to speak up. So it's very important book. It was important in that scenario, it was important in present scenario. Book number 30 Pilgrim's Progress. Pilgrim's Progress is very very important written and published in 1678 by John Bunyan. Bunyan was born 1628 to 1688. Remember all the publication of books, all the burden of writers are very very important. That's why you have to take care of all these things. Make sure you note down these things. Pilgrim's Progress deals with a hero man known as Christian who takes a journey to meet Jesus Christ. It also has a sequel that you should go for which was known as Pilgrim's Progress Part 2 written in 1684. Book number 31. Religio Medici written and published in 1642 by Thomas Brown. Thomas Brown was a physician by profession and born in 1605 1682 though it's not very important but remember Religio Medici deals with religion of a doctor. It's very important and represents the theology the religion and the medicine profession combined together book number 32 anatomy of melancholy written and published in 1621 by the famous writer robert burton who is also known as the first person 
to acknowledge melancholy as a disease remember this point depression ko as a disease count karne wala wo first writer hai and it's very very important as you can check on your screen robert burton was born 1577 and died 1640 this man talked about the depression as a disease and gave the cure in his book it's a very important book from competitive point of view book number 33 absalom akitophel one of the most political uh, satire known as a poem 1682 publication hai it deals with the political issue of restoration era under the rule of charles ii the biblical reference that has been used by john dryden to talk about the political scenario has made this book a classic absalom akitophel is a must read for all of you and make sure that you know who is absalom who is akitophel and all other बिब्लिकल कैरेक्टर्स वो कौन कौन है उनको जानना बहुत जरूरी है दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुक नंबर थर्टी फोर ऑल फॉर लव अगेन रिटन बाई जॉन ड्राइडन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डील्स विद द लास्ट सीन ऑफ फेमस बुक रिटन बाय शेक्सपियर एंटनी एंड क्लियोपेट्रा दिस इज द स्टोरी दैट डील्स विद द लास्ट सीन वी आर एंड इन क्लियोपेट्रा दे रियलाइज देर लव फॉर ईच अदर दे बोथ आर गिंग टू डाई एंड दिस becomes the base of all for love john dryden wrote all for love in 1677 and remember john dryden's own birth date is 1631 to 1700 book number 35 hudibras one of the best ever written puritan satire written in 1633 by samuel butler hudibras was a satire on puritanism satire on the puritans and this was the reason that the king himself ordered every courtier to carry a copy of hudibras he made fun of the puritans and the writer was given cash award we are talking about the writer samuel butler who was born 1613 and died 1618 book number 36 leviathan a political book that deals with political scenario political things 1651 leviathan was written by thomas hobbes who was born on 1588 and died 1679 make sure you remember leviathan the brief introduction will be enough if you just read only uh, for 5 to 10 minutes this will be totally enough for you next book book number 37 an essay concerning human understanding written by john locke this was published in 1690 john locke was a philosopher was an activist was an educationist and john locke when he wrote this book he developed a term tabula rasa This book is very very important and also remember that John Locke was born 1632 and died 1704. Book number 38 Way of the World published in 1700 a restoration comedy dealing with Mirabel Millamain Mr and Mrs Fennel and a lot of other characters is written by William Congreve one of the finest writer and the leader leading writer of restoration comedy William Congreve was born in 1670 and died 1729. Book number 39, The Country Wife written in 1675 by William Wyatt Shirley deals with a Puritan lady, a Puritan person. It's a satire on the person, it's a satire on puritanism and is also full of lot of double meanings. Double meaning thoughts are there, conversations are there and yes, it represents restoration comedy written by William Wyatt Shirley. William Wyatt Shirley was born on 1641 and died 1716 book number 40 the diary the diary which was discovered in 1825 and got published later few more pages got discovered in 1970 and then the pages got published till 1983 but what we have to remember is the main publication of 1825 The diary starts in 1660 deals with the contemporary society and current political situation of restoration is it's written by the famous diary writer Samuel Pepys who is also known as the father of autobiographical writing father of diary writing Samuel Pepys was born 1633 died 1703 book number 41 Rape of the Lock friends I've told you that Rape of the Lock is very very important because it has various publications and speaks about the neo classical society as you remember it was first written in 1712 then with some changes written in 1714 and then the final publication came in 1717 it is written by the greatest neo classical writer Alexander Pope who was born in 1688 died 1744 this is very very important 
Then we go for book number 42, Battle of Books, published in 1704, written by the greatest writer of Augustan age, Jonathan Swift. Jonathan Swift was born 1667, died 1745. The Battle of the Books talks about the ancient books and modern books and there is a comparison. Find out that who wins this comparison and for this thing you will have to read the book, go in the depth and make sure you learn everything. Book number 43, Gulliver's Travels, very very important book, no exam is possible if they don't ask questions from Gulliver's Travels because Jonathan Swift Gulliver's Travel is so important that it is taught even in nurseries and in political assemblies. It is said that it can be studied in nurseries and it can be studied by the cabinet uh, people, cabinet ministry because it has a lot of message, a lot of society. Society se related bahut zare message hai. Social implications bahut jyada hai. Aur jitna bhi hum uske baare mein baat kare, Gulliver's Travels is full of references. Book number 44, Tale of a Tub. Published in 1704, written by same writer Jonathan Swift. Tale of a Tub also deals with a religious satire. It's a must read for all the students who are preparing for the exams. Book number 45 is Tatler, which uh, started by Richard Steele and Edison in 1709, came to an end in 1711. It's a very important thing and you have to read it. Remember this thing that Tatler, Edison and there were few more contributors in this magazine. Book number 46, Spectator. Spectator was started by Edison and Steele in 1711 and there was a Spectator Club which was formed in this magazine. Spectator Club had various members. Some of them were Captain Sentry, Will Honeycomb, Andrew Freeport, Rosa D. Coverley, Vido Lady and Mr. Spectator. There were six different characters. Make sure you remember it. The timing is 1711. Book number 47 is a magazine by Samuel Johnson. Samuel Johnson, the greatest writer, born 1709, died 1784. Rambler magazine started in 1750, ended in 1752, had 208 articles. And remember this thing that it was circulated on Tuesday and Saturday. Book number 48 is another magazine, Idler. Idler was circulated from 1758 to 1760 and in total there were 103 essays it was also started by samuel johnson book number 49 vanity of human wishes a poetry in heroic couplet deals with the philosophy of life talks about the metalistic condition of life and also the futility of these kind of life where we are involved materialistically samuel johnson talks about the ideal way of living life and tells us that we should avoid the materialistic life or materialistic attitude towards life book number 50 the first English dictionary written by Samuel Johnson, 1755. He took approx eight years to complete this and this is the first ever dictionary from English to English written by Samuel Johnson. This is the reason Dr. Samuel Johnson is also called the first lexicographer in English. So friends, we have talked about top 50 books. These top 50 books were handpicked by me as I know that there are a lot of books which are remaining even in British history and in other literature. To get the list of all these books and to get more videos, I request you to subscribe this channel and go for the bell icon. Along with this, if you have any suggestions, if you have any queries, you can WhatsApp us on given numbers. And moreover, if you think that some books are to be added in this list, you can write these books in the comment. The next video that I'm going to come up with is the remaining most important books from 1750 to the present day. For this thing, I'll need your love through subscribing. Thank you so much. This is Vineet Pandey in your service.